Welcome to Bread and Pastry Production for Grade 8 students. Today, we will talk about taking pens and cutting tools. But for the whole week, you are expected to learn how to prepare tools for specific baking purposes. At the end of the learning period, you should be able to name the different baking pens and cutting tools used in baking, match the tools according to their uses, and recognize the importance of baking pans and cutting tools in baking. Before we start, let's check if you have prior knowledge about our lesson. You can get your notebook if you want to write your answers. Feel free to pause the video if you need time to think, but don't forget to get back to the video as soon as possible. Play the video when you're done so we can check your answers. Match the description on column A with column B. Write the letters only. Number 1. It is a flat pen with a long handle, usually has a non-stick surface. Letter D. Riddle pen. Number 2. It is used in baking cake rolls. Letter J, Jelly Roll Pen. Number 3, it has 6 to 12 round pockets used in baking cupcakes. Letter A, Muffin Pen. Number 4, it is used in baking cakes such as angel cakes. Letter E, Tube Center Pen. Number 5, it has a decorative indented curvature and tube in the center. Letter H, band pan. Number 6, it is used to protect the surface when slicing or cutting food. Letter B, chopping board. Number 7, it is used for peeling, mincing, and cutting small ingredients. Letter F, paring knife. Number 8, it is used to cut food or ingredients for preparation. Letter I, kitchen shears. Number 9, it is used in scoring, marking, and cutting dough. Letter C, pastry wheel. Number 10, it is used in cutting solid fat for easy blending. Letter G, Pastry Blender. At this moment, we will start the lesson by telling you what baking is. Baking is a method of cooking food by dry heat in an oven or on heated metal or stones. There are two mixtures used in baking, dough and butter. Dough is thick and stretchable. It can hold its shape like pizzas and donuts. On the other hand, we have butter. Butter is a semi-liquid mixture just like the ones used in cakes or pancakes. Since butter is a semi-liquid mixture, it needs baking pans. The butter will follow the shape of the pan used, but there are baking pans that we can use for those. Let's start with baking sheet, also known as sheet pan. It is 3 4 inch deep, used for baking products that are stiff enough to stand on their own, like cookies. Band pan, used in baking elegant cakes. Heavy walled baking pan with decorative indented curvature. The tube in the center allows the cake to bake evenly. Cake pans comes in different sizes and shapes used in baking cakes like chiffon cakes. Custard cup. It is either made of glass or porcelain used in baking custard. Griddle pan. A flat pan with a long handle designed to be placed over stove top or burners to cook food like bacons or pancakes. 
Jelly Roll Pan Similar to baking sheet but usually 1 inch deep. It is used in baking cake rolls. Loaf Pan Rectangular in shape and deep walled. Used to bake single loaf of bread. Macaroon Molders It has 24 small formed cups used for baking coconut macaroons. Macaron is different from macaroons. Macaron doesn't need molders. Muffin pan. Typically has 6 or 12 individual round pockets or holders connected to the tin. Used for baking cupcakes or muffins. Pop over pan. Specifically designed to hold pop over butter. As it bakes, the butter pops up and over the cup. Tube Center Pan It has a tube in the center that allows uniform baking. Used for baking cakes such as angel cakes or sponge cakes. Then we have the cutting tools. In general, they are used for cutting, peeling, or chopping ingredients. Biscuit and Donut Cutter Typically made from stainless or plastic. Used to cut evenly the donut or cookie dough before baking. Chopping Boards A hard-surfaced kitchen tool usually made of food or plastic in which foods are cut or sliced. Used to protect the surface you're working on while cutting. It is recommended to follow the color-coded chopping boards for each type of ingredient or product we use. But if we can't, four can do. For vegetables and fruits, for raw fish, for cooked meat, and less for raw meat. But if we are on a budget, two will be fine. One for meat and the other for fruits and vegetables. Kitchen shears. It is more versatile than a standard scissors. It is used to cut foods or ingredients for preparation. Because of innovation, people have invented cutting tools for slicing vegetables like carrots or mincing spring onions. Paring knife. A small knife, typically 3 to 5 inches in length, used for peeling, or mincing and cutting small ingredients. Aside from paring knife, we also use the pillar to make our job easier. Pastry blender, also called pastry cutter. It is used to cut butter or solid fat to easily blend in flour for making pastry dough. Lastly is the pastry wheel. Single wheel that are wooden or metal. The wheel has a straight edge for scoring, marking, and straight cutting the dough. Aside from this one wheel cutting tool, there is also a two wheel. The first wheel is for scoring and marking, and the other wheel is for cutting. To know what you've learned today, you will create a postcard. The situation is, your classmate is absent for today. You will write a postcard to your classmate that will explain the key ideas presented in today's lesson. Pause the video and work on your activity. Selecting the proper baking pan and using the correct cutting tool is essential for achieving the right consistency, flavor, and appearance of your baked goods. For your reflection, what could possibly happen if we don't select the proper baking pan? Pause the video and answer the question. Thank you for today and see you in the next video.